Hello everyone and I hope you all are doing well. Welcome to another BBL fantasy match preview powered by Fan to Play and this is going to be a really important game for both these teams and we have Nikhil Bailas to carry you through this preview of the Thunders versus the Strikers. Yes, Thunder had a thundering start. Uh, 15 seconds for them, maybe might was might as well call it a reel. But uh, yeah, that is just the Jaimata the league that we call it for a reason. and uh, that's what's happened but they've come back fairly well but they are going to play the same side so they'll have some scars and they'll play adelaide which is probably the best or the worst place to play them because of the way that they bowl so uh, things are up against them so let's see how they go yes let's look at how that part goes and on that note let's look at what the venue conditions will be because like we've seen till now in the bbl it is going to play a key part for you so first up the venue conditions and nikhil bhai how do you see adelaide playing out so i think we've seen one game here and uh... of course short scored runs and uh, they defended it well i think the same will be the case going ahead we saw that in the world cup as well it's a good batting depth uh, short square boundaries the longest the longest where uh, they try and take a lot of wickets so that will remain the same and there is some help early on as well so you just have to get those your uh, you know lines right and then then you can strike so i think it will pretty much stay the same batting first slightly better and of course end call has to be how the weather and all are on the day on, on the day of the game yes absolutely square boundaries will play a key part like we saw through the world cup too and yeah. yes both these teams have had an interesting set of games and we have seen across games there have been a lot of early wickets so it will yeah. be interesting to see if that happens this time too because both teams have some quality opening bowlers so let's yeah. see what is the best base team set up for this game So this is the base setup that we have gone with Matt Gilles who is the opening batter for the Sydney Thunder not too many runs to show for but Harry Nielsen is also batting quite low so I don't know how much utility will have he'll have in that scenario while we have gone with Rosso Hales and Lynn the three season T20 batters because we don't see any differentials really coming to the fore at least for your or to disturb your small league teams and hence we have not tried to disturb that part of this combination Yeah. Uh, now you can take Nilsson if you feel that he'll take more catches. Uh, that's the only competition <laughs> between these two uh, keepers for now. But there will be that one knock from Magic, uh, which will take people by surprise. So keep hmm. trying him. One day he'll come. But in one of the uh, grand teams, in the batting section, you have quite a few options in the middle order. Now, again, it's a case of visualization. If you feel that wickets will fall and all three, the, all these three bat in the top three. If you feel they'll not stick around for too long, then you can always go for somebody like an Alex Ross or an Oliver Davis. Oliver Davis still might be too low for you to try, but I feel somebody like Alex Ross and Adam Hose. I think Adam Hose, do, those two picks mm. are very important for you. Both are from different teams and they play pivotal roles. They've had one good knock already in the series. So again, it's going to be your visualization. Russo came good last game. Hales is due. Uh, you know, Hales is not somebody who will. Keep you quiet for so long, and you have to also see the hmm. matchup that there is there, uh, if at all, in terms of the opposition who you feel will take him out early. So strikers don't have a out and out left arm pacer. If I'm not speaking nonsense, uh, they have West Agar, Henry Thornton, and uh, another one who's Sidden, a right arm yeah. pacer. So no left arm threat as of yeah. now, but again, this is this is the team that got out very early. So hmm. you can either go with the common DC <laughs> with the common. But if you want hmm. to put potential, we have given you enough options there. Yes, and the beauty of these three batters that we have picked is while all three of them are seasoned and pro pro class, they are also going to be batting in the top, like Nikhil Bai mentioned. And there has yeah. been no lack of top order wickets across games, so it makes it very open for you in terms of being able to try 
more combinations by dropping one of these guys or just dropping them rather than dropping them if you're confused about who you want as your third batter just go ahead and take the third all rounder maybe someone like Colin De Granom I think he's yeah. delivered pretty decently and it's not like those overs or that those few runs will go waste versus if with the batter like we always say it's one mistake in the all rounders we have gone with Dan Sams and Matt Short not taking too many risks here because they have delivered and captain and vice captain because they're going to give you value with bat and with ball and they'll be playing at key positions whether it's dead bowling or opening batting both of them fulfill key criterion roles and hence you don't want to mess with that while in the bowling we have gone with the key picks all of these are on form and while you have some other choices we didn't feel like again it makes sense for you to take any chances in your base team the key thing that you can do here is try to switch out one or two players like maybe switching out one of the batters for an extra all rounder or if you see that maybe adelaide is bowling second and if you feel like there's nothing crazy that's going to happen then switch out one of the pace bowlers for an extra spinner so those are the things that you can do based on the toss yeah i think one thing to possibly also look out is there is a repeat game most hmm. of the teams might be similar if you are playing two three four members you are more very likely to set to see a very similar team in every game in in every contest that you play so you have to take a call whether you want to play uh, that kind of leagues or you want hmm. to play multi winner leagues with slight risks uh, and that risk will definitely come as green said on your visualization that which pace bowler you think will not work if sandeep is bowling second do you feel he will not take enough wickets or fazal at times he's had a great start but he also been off wickets often so fs agar did not take much wickets in the first game so it's hmm. going to be based on your visualization and i think multiple combinations might be the way to go for this particular game because captainized captain as well everybody is going to come with uh, match shot and daniel sams very very few people are going to go otherwise in your small league so uh, be very sure of your combination and then play uh, head to head in all of those leagues yes i'm expecting to post my first team after quite a few days tomorrow I'm hoping that i don't have to go with everybody so let's see what the toss has in store for us and uh, because we like going polar and contrasting on many occasions let's look at what grand league picks we have for this one so nikhil bhai why your two grand league picks for this game please take over <laughs> Okay, so it's not not too many times that you'll get the opportunity to say this, but uh, now that I'm getting the platform too, my first Grand League pick is Rashid Khan. Not uh, in wow. terms of picking him, but in terms of captaincy, vice captaincy, he will be unique tomorrow, and I have no doubt about that. Looking at the flurry of wickets that Pacers have taken, I don't know how many people will trust him. If he's batting first and bowling second, he'll surely be. and you know that my grand league picks don't i don't really use them in grand league i end up using them in my mini gl and small league teams also but yes if he's ba- batting first and bowling second he is good captaincy vice captaincy material for me and uh, from thunder i was slightly confused initially but i feel like alex ross when he bats first down the order is total gun gun material so yes if he is batting first so yes two toss toss based conditional picks but it's very important for you to think about that story to actually make the story happen you can't just randomly make someone and unless your luck is great then it's great but yes it's important for you to have that track story so yes this is my track story on why i'm going with these two picks yes bilkul you should always back your visualization and uh, i think the two picks that i'll say again they might not You, you may not say they are very uh, un- unfamiliar names, but I feel they might come good. One is Jason Sanga. Now we need to see. Uh, of course, the, he was injured, I think, last game. So we need to see if it's fit and if he's playing. Then definitely, I think he becomes a vital option because he could also bowl a few overs. But hmm. my expectation of him is with the bat and not uh, as much with the ball. Uh, but again, you could easily swap him around for anybody, as uh, Vinan also said, for Ross and for other options like that. Uh, but I feel Jason Sangha mm. will want to lead from the front, so that is option one. And from Adelaide, I'm going to go with somebody who I love because he takes wickets in bunches, and that's going to Sidil. be Peter Siddiq. Yeah. So <laughs> hopefully one, because so far he's not had much of his bowl very well last game as well. I think same is the case with Nathan Ellis. 
that the guy's bowled mm. very well. He's had catches dropped off him, and uh, you know, not luck not going his way. But I think that crazy bunch of three wickets, four wickets for 20 runs is coming. So let's see. These are the kind of games where you wait for where your favorite players are doing really well, but they're just not reflecting on the point system. So yes, yeah. you're just waiting that Achha Chalo sab chhod denge, and on that day we'll. Take it all. So, yes, these are the kind of games that might await you. So, yes, let's hope that tomorrow is one of those sort of games. So, all of you have a great game. And tell us your man of the match in the comments of who your yep. top Grand League pick is. All the good luck to you. Have a good game, guys. Take care.